Ingat ke lagi? S, P, A Apa dia? Remember the power triangle? P, P ke Q? Sini S This one is your cos theta Where is P? Sini P Sini Q Betul? Salah-salah, salah lah nanti Check balik eh Okay So That KVA is your S actually uh, apparent, uh, apparent power lagi apa? Apparent power Reactive power and Real power pandai So this one is apparent power right Okay So When you take the value Always take the maximum one Okay Saya bagi kat dulu Dengar dulu Sebab kita nak pakai kat sini We will use this one Oh melakar langkah slide saya In many cases, induction motor can be started by simply connecting them in the power line. Yes. When, when you have, when you have a uh, induction motor, you connect is a power line. Okay, power line RYP itu. Tak tak padam lagi. Okay, you have a power line. You connect directly. Dia memang boleh pusing. No problem. Okay, but. If you zoom at the behavior of the stator, uh, of the rotor, okay, sometimes the rotor takes a while to rotate because the magnetization is in progress inside the stator. Okay, dia macam tengah tunggu uh, induction induce 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 daripada stator, then dia boleh pusing sikit 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 sikit. Okay, however, nanti jadi engineer kan? Uh, when you being assigned to operate induction motor, sometimes you don't know what is the previous state, previous state of the motor. Does it uh, previously? Did dah run? How long does this motor been running previously? Sebelum, sebelum sampai ke you, kan? You engineer, you eight to five je, right? The engineer, you eight to five je. You datang, uh, they say, dia macam doktor lah. You doktor, dia ada cardio kan? Cardio apa? Jantung lah. Dia ada doktor apa? Gaini untuk baby. Jadi bring baby. Dia ada doktor... Ha? Neuro, neuro, utak. Okay. So kalau dia accident, ada somebody accident, yang accident tu adalah ibu mengandung. Okay. Yang neuron akan datang check otak dia je. Dia dah boleh buat kerja. Okay, dah. Yang lain sambung Nurse ke ataupun Embo akan sambung Jack balik Oh dia nak cerita pula Oh baby okay ke tak Oh nak kena deliver Okay datang Nada doktor Guy ni Dia datang Dia hanya akan touch The, the Apa Womb Ataupun the uh, Tummy Ibu tu saja. Dia selesaikan kerja dia Kepala baby ke Atau apa-apa ke Dia selesaikan After that Dia cuci tangan Dia give baby to the Pediatric right ah, And dia punya kerja habis sama macam you. So kalau you in charge bahagian motor, engineer bahagian operation, so you hanya akan tengok operation. Operate well, does it operate well? Does it following the procedure? How long does this motor been operated? And you done. Okay. Suddenly masa you tengah jaga motor tu, dia rosak. Okay. Kalau company tu multinational banyak duit, bukan you punya kerja nak repair. Kenapa company orang lain repair atau engineer engineer maintenance, engineer will come to repair to look on the motor Okay, tapi kalau tu company budget Kau lah kerani, kau lah repair, kau lah technician Okay, alright, so Kita tak tahu the, be the, the behavior of the motor previously The reason is that kita nak uh, Kalau dia dah been operated for a long time And then you shut down And then you wanted to open, uh, to operate the motor back You imagine dah dalam ni dah ada Store energy, right? And then you datang Dia dah operate for like 48 hours Compressor 48 hours dah operate And then uh, Last uh, technician Shut down at Night 8pm And your shift is at 8am 8 pagi you datang balik You on You rasa tinggi tak current dia It's already high Because dia ada store energy inside the Winding Okay By default We can calculate what is the Starting current Okay And this starting current Kalau you tengok dalam your Lab pun It might be 20, 30 times higher than the 
So this is your starting current and this is your operating current. Let's say this is 10 ampere. This one could be 40 to 60 ampere. It's very high. How to calculate? Uh, by using this equation. Okay? And this equation, where can we look? Uh, the starting current can be found from this equation. This is line current. S star, S star is the KVA, and this V uh, T uh, line voltage. Okay, and this S star, okay, they are a little bit different because the equation is horsepower, horsepower of the motor, which is this one. Okay. Horsepower of the motor, kali code later. Okay, horsepower of the motor, multiply with code later, and you will have your S. Okay, so with your S, uh, you know what is the VT, because you are operating the motor, you know we, you will know the line current. So let's try. Okay, so they kata S start. So the horsepower is 50 Code letter is F So take a look uh, Table ni akan ada, don't worry Table ni akan jadi appendix Code letter is F Always take the maximum Range Okay 5.6 So that's why you have 84 KVA Okay so now we will we will know what is the value of the S star Times three line. Okay, so your S is here. Eighty four K times three two eight. So see, two hundred. This two hundred thirty three ampere ni adalah here at starting saja. Two three three. Okay. In fact, you hanya bagi 208 je. You tak bagi 415 pun. 208 pun je. So, it's very high. And we don't want this transient high current. Okay? So, how do we reduce this one? Satu adalah by using by using a starting circuit reduction. Faham lah. Kau dah semua. Sabar eh. Sikit je. Okay. Dia ada tiga cara. There's three way how to reduce the starting current. This one is by a starting circuit. Okay. Uh, external starting circuit. Number two is by using star delta. Kita configure. Ingat tak? Sebelum ni star ke delta lagi tinggi? Lagi kuat? Delta. Delta. So we need to start the motor with delta. Delta. Okay. So we need to start the motor with star. With star So bila you bagi dia star connection Dia akan rendah Tapi kita tak nak current yang rendah ni Untuk your operation kan Sebab, sebab kita nak dia tinggi At this point Tapi kita nak at the moment dia rendah Batu satin je So after a while Kita tukar automatically kepada delta That is that is called a star delta starter And another one is by inserting Extra inductor and resistor To the power line 
Tapi yang ni very rare because kita biasanya tak kacau pun <coughs> main lah sebab it's because it's from KMB. Okay and number four adalah alternatif lagi. By uh, reduce terminal voltage. This one is kalau you ada drive lah. Kita can reduce the terminal voltage tapi isu dia ingat tak? Low top, high speed. High speed, low top. Ha, so depends what is the application. Kalau application tu perlukan high top, means dia perlukan high current. Ha, tapi kalau dia perlukan high speed, so high current tak akan menjadi tak jadi isu lah. High speed, low current. Okay. Dev.com. In this video, we're going to be learning how star delta starters work for three-phase induction motors. Remember, electricity is dangerous and can be fatal. You should be qualified and competent to carry out any electrical work. Now, this is a real-world star delta starter, and by the end of this video, you will be able to tell me what each part. Okay. Uh... In in practical, actually the star delta tu is represent in in a con contactor sahaja. This is all contactor. One uh, usually ada tiga. Satu star connection is already uh, connect in a star. Another one in delta and another one is timer. So at which time? Let's say can you simulate kan? After a while, after like uh, 0 0.3 second, baru dia uh, no, 0 0.5. Okay. So between 0 to 0 0.5 is in star and then after that dia akan dalam delta. So this one akan pakai timer. Part does and how the whole system works together. Now for this video, I'm going to be using the old red, yellow, blue color coding for the phases simply because I think it's easier to see. However, I will also show you versions with colors used in the US, EU, UK and Australia a little later into this video. Three-phase motors are used in almost every commercial and industrial building. Inside a three-phase induction motor, we have three separated coils which are used to produce a rotating magnetic field. When we pass an AC current through each coil, the coil will produce a magnetic field which changes in intensity as well as polarity as the electrons change direction. But if we were to connect each coil to a different phase, then the electrons in each phase will change direction between forwards and backwards at different times compared to the other phases. This means that the magnetic field will change in intensity and polarity at a different time compared to the other phases. To distribute this magnetic field, we need to rotate the coils 120 degrees from the last phase and then combine these into you the magnetic stator so to produce it to the two U terminal and then W2, U2, and B2. We have our phase one coil connected to the two U terminals. We then have the phase two coil connected to the two V terminals. Okay, this and then is we ordinary have the phase connection. three coil okay. which is connected to the two W terminals. Here's a real world example of an induction motor's electrical terminal box. Now this I'm going to test key. your understanding of this a little later into this video. Notice that the coil terminals are in a different arrangement from the top side to the bottom side. We'll see why that is in just a moment. We now bring in the three-phase power supply and connect it to the respective terminals. Okay. We always connect the supply side to terminals U1, V1 and W1. Now for the motor to run, we need to complete the circuit and there are two ways to do this. The first way is the delta configuration. For this, we connect across the terminals from U1 to W2, V1 to U2 and W1 to V2. This will give us our delta configuration. Now we'll learn more about how three-phase electricity works and we've covered this in great detail in our previous videos. Do check those out, links are in the video description down below. Now the other way that we can connect the terminals is to use the star configuration. In this method, we connect between W2, U2 and V2 on only one side of the motor terminals. This will give us our star equivalent design. Now when we pass AC current through the coils, we see that the electrons are shared between the phases at the terminals. So looking again at this real world example of the motor terminals, can you tell me which method is being used? Three, two, one, correct, is the delta configuration. 
The two ways we just saw of configuring the motor in Star or Delta are fixed methods. To change the motor, open the motor terminals and then rearrange them. Now this isn't exactly practical to do. At Cisco, we believe in what you do, not where you work, and we have the security to make that possible. So how can we automate this? To do this, we need to use some contactors. Now they come in various designs, but if we look inside one, then the basic operation is just a switch that can either make or break a circuit to control the flow of electricity in all three phases simultaneously. So we take our main contactor, and then we connect our three-phase supplier to one side, and then we connect the other side to the respective terminals within the induction motor's electrical terminal box. We then take a second contactor, which will be used for our delta circuit, and we feed our three phases into this also. From here, we connect our phase one to terminal B2, which is the phase two coil. Then we connect our phase two to terminal W2, which is the phase three coil. And finally, we connect our phase three wire to the U2 terminal, which is the phase one coil. Now we take another contactor, which will be used for our star circuit, and we connect our three phase power into this. On the top, we just connect all three phases together. I'll just remove the casing of the contactors so that we can see what's happening inside. Now we start in the star configuration, and to do that, we activate both the main and the star con. So the connection in parallel. So which one, which one yang you select to on, dia akan lalu ke kawasan tu. And then out through the motor terminals and into the star contactor, where the path of the electrons is shared. This allows them to flow in and out of another phase as the direction of each so phase changes. Here, the star connection method will run for a few seconds before switching over to delta. For the delta connection, we disconnect the star contactor and then close the delta connection. This all happens very quickly. Now we have the electricity flowing in, but it splits direction. It flows into both the main as well as the delta contactor. The electricity in the main contactor path will flow into the motor coils, and the electricity which took the delta contactor route will flow to the opposite side of the motor terminal. Each will then flow between the different phases as they reverse direction. To control the changeover from star to delta contactors, we simply use a timer to control this. This will automatically change the configuration over after a set amount of time. Additionally, there are more advanced versions which will monitor the amps or motor speed. So timer if you are in the US, then you might uh, find these the colors being used. This is for a 208 volt three phase supply, but the colors will be different if you're using a 480 volt three phase supply. In the UK, EU, and Australia, you'll find these colors used for the phases. If you're in the UK, then you're probably still going to come across versions with the red, yellow, blue colors being used. This is an old, outdated color system, but old installations are still going to exist. So coming back to this real world photo of a Star Delta starter, can you tell me which part is which? Three, two, one. Correct. This is the main contactor, this is the Delta contactor, this is the Star contactor, and this is the timer. Notice on the Star contactor, they've just connected two wires into the same terminal to create that star point. So why then do we use Star Delta starters? We use the Star Delta starter to reduce the inrush current when the motor starts. When a large induction motor starts in delta, a starting current can be over five times higher than the full load current which occurs when the motor stabilizes and runs normally. This huge surge in current will cause lots of problems. The building's electrical system will be hit by this sudden large demand. Okay, uh, kita tengoklah dekat ni. Saya dah letak dalam ini pun. Alright, thank you guys for your attention and coming to the class. Assalamualaikum.